Hi everyone, I'm Hussein Emadi, PhD student from the University of Politecnico di Torino, Italy. I would like to present you a research work conducted by our team with Professor Antonio Cami and Professor Laura Savoldi. The title is Improving the Overall Thermal Performance of Parabolic Trough Solar Collectors Using Proust Media. Through this presentation, after a short description of the role of solar energy systems in the world's sustainable development, I will discuss the concept of the work followed by a description and modeling consideration. Then, results will be presented under the hydraulics and thermodynamics point of view, and the main points will be summarized at the end. Sustainable Development Goals, also known as SDG, is a systematic framework to tackle the main global challenges such as poverty, inequity, and environmental degradation. As you can see, there are some headlines, each of which represent a specific topic to be addressed through this framework. What is of interest to this study is number seven, indicating affordable and clean energy. Having in mind that the climate change impacts are booming and today the world engulfed with such climate disasters, we must pay higher attention to the energy providers and resources. Clean and renewable energy resources are maybe the only alternative to the current pollutant fossil fuels. On top of that, solar energy is one of the leading technology for future energy, which is gaining unprecedented speed in development and dissemination. Concentrating solar power or CSB is one of the ways to utilize the thermal power of solar energy to generate electricity. As shown in this figure, the potential and number of installed power plants are rising and this acceleration can have many reasons like efficiency enhancement and cost reduction. So increasing efficiency means any specific technique to whether improve the optical efficiency or boost heat transfer. Thermal enhancement techniques are usually cheaper and more effective. So with such methods, one can further develop the current CSP systems helping to decrease its cost and promote its applications. Now thermal enhancement techniques can be carried out through passive or active methods. In the active method, an external energy source is required to, for example, produce a turbulent regime and enhance the heat transfer coefficient. However, in passive methods, no force or external energy is used and the heat transfer mechanism is improved with only internal effects. The integration of Proust media with solar receivers is a passive method to increase the heat transfer area between the working fluid and the absorber as well as breaking the thermal boundary layers through recirculation. Although these are the two important positive consequences of this technique, the rise in the pressure drop owing to the high friction between the fluid and porous media could be a sore point. Based on new findings, a novel porous matrix with a reduced pressure drop compared to the existing models can be developed using Rashi rings. As shown, the random injection of hollow cylinders with special dimensions and using a brazing material to solidify the structure will lead to the formation of this novel bruce block. Therefore, in this study, a series of numerical simulations were performed to evaluate the viability of Rashi Green Proust matrix for CSP applications. In this regard, the most common type of CSP collectors, which is the parabolic trough collectors, was aimed to be equipped with such technology and its performance was analyzed through simulations. As it is indicated in the figure, a usual parabolic trough collector consists of a reflector that focuses the sun rays on a tubular absorber to collect heat on this area. Then a working fluid, which is air in this study, passes through the absorber to convey the absorbed heat and transfer it to the next unit for thermal purposes. A tubular glass envelope is also included in these systems to minimize heat convection loss and improve thermal efficiency. 
does in order to assess the effectiveness of Rashek ring Prus media in thermal performance, a fraction of the absorber, glass envelope, and the working fluid were only modeled in the simulations. As a result, the absorber tube was assumed to be made of inconal with an inner diameter of 20.6 mm and an outer diameter of 25.4 mm. A tubular glass envelope was also developed with an inner diameter of 30 mm and an outer diameter of 32 mm. A total length of 70 cm of the absorber was chosen to be analyzed in this research. This fraction was then divided in two, two pieces, the first fraction with a 50 cm smooth pipe where the inlet flow condition was set at the boundary conditions and the second fraction with 21 cm which was studied under two options. First, a smooth pipe with fully developed conditions and inlet and outlet boundary interfaces and second, the enhanced pipe with the Rashek rig insert with again fully developed conditions at both inlet and outlet boundary interfaces. Please note that the connection between the first and the second fractions was made using the outlet data of the first fraction such as velocity, uh, mean bulk temperature and turbulence criteria to be input as the inlet data for the second fraction simulations. To apply the accurate thermal modeling, first solar radiation was simulated using the data in the literature, which led to the distribution of local concentration ratio on the tube wall. As shown on the right figure, the parabolic configuration of the reflector results in two peak values on the wall of the tube, roughly located at the bottom section. Please note that referring to the linear arrangement of the parabolic trough collectors, this distribution is longitudinally uniform. About the heat transfer mechanism applied to this modeling, I could say that, as shown in the figure on the left, solar energy emitted on the collector will be passed through the glass envelope and be absorbed by the tube. It should be noted that a fraction of heat is stored in the glass and causes the temperature rise on its wall. The energy absorbed by the absorber tube will be then conveyed to the working fluid, which is known as useful heat. On the other hand, considering thermal losses, we have several issues. First, it was assumed that the gap between the tube and the glass envelope is evacuated, so the convection loss between the tube and the glass cover was neglected in this study. However, the radiation loss between the tube and cover is taken into account and will be analyzed further in this study. Moreover, two other thermal losses applied in the simulations are the radiative and convective heat transfer through the cover to ambient. The CFT study considering energy, continuity, and momentum equations was carried out using a Star System Plus commercial software. The applicability of the software is well known and many scientists have reported the high accuracy of this platform. One of the features that we employed was the district element method or DEM model to generate the packed structure and form the Bruce structure with Rescheg ring as the particles. Then after the development of the geometries, a 3D conjugated heat transfer model was used accompanied by temperature dependent properties of the materials. Based on the previous experimental and numerical studies, an effective thermal conductivity of 2600 watt per meter Kelvin was set for Proust media. A radiation model was also added to the simulations to predict the radi radiative heat transferred between the two surfaces of tube and the glass. As the fluid region was considered to be turbulent, the realized K-epsilon model with two-layer wall treatment was used through the simulations. The appropriate meshing was achieved after a grid independence study testing various base size of cells and the number of prism layers and Y plus was finally obtained nearly one at the whole fluid walls. Table 1 shows the optimum number of cells achieved for our simulations. The high number of cells for the enhanced pipe comes from the fact that in micro-scale study of the Bruce media, each particle must have an individual mesh and this results in high computational costs. Coming to the results, hydraulic performance showed that the Prusinzer reduces the fluid velocity and causes some pressure drops. 
According to Table 2, the rise in the pressure drop could be maximized up to 1,400% compared to the smooth pipe. From the zoom section in the left figure, rains could accelerate or block the air passage through the medium. Actually, where there are sharp corners or internal channels, air streams accelerate, while where rings are accumulated, air streams are blocked. Considering the thermal performance as the air proceeds through the pipe, temperature profiles develop, and as shown at three tube lengths of the first segment, the temperature of various collector components are presented. As it was expected at x equal to zero, the fresh air absorbs the heat from the pipe wall and cools it down significantly. At x equal to 25 centimeter, thermal boundary layers are formed and the rate of heat transfer decreases compared to the inlet section. Reaching to the outlet interface, the temperature of the pipe rises due to the reduction in the temperature difference between the tube wall and fluid boundary layers. This further decreases the rate of the heat transfer and increases tube wall temperature. As a consequence, there is also a short temperature rise in the glass envelope, which in indicates growth in the radiative thermal losses between the tube and the cover at the ending sections of the first segment. Totally, it can be concluded that in this method, the penetration of heat into the core layers of the fluid is poor and has low thermal efficiency. Comparing the temperature profiles on the second fractions for a smooth and enhanced pipes, we can see that although wall temperatures on four different parts are rising through the tube length, the Proust insert could reduce the temperatures with great extents. The maximum temperature reduction has been recorded as nearly 82% at x equal to 0.24 meter and on the bottom section. Here a promising fact is that after the Proust block, wall temperatures start to increase but cannot reach the previous maximum values. The reason for such behavior attributes to the fact that the novel structure of Proust media produces recirculation, breaking thermal boundary layers and leading to an improved convective heat transfer coefficient, so air could convey higher amounts of heat from the wall. A detailed investigation on the local effects of rushing rings shows that Arbitrary positioning of the rings can be important and produce some local effects on the tube wall. For example, P1, which lacks a good contact between the tube wall and the Proust media, is not able to transfer the heat through conduction, causing a low cooling effect on the tube wall. P2 highlights that not only the contact is important, but also the way two faces of wall and rings are in touch is crucial in heat transfer. For instance, when rings are perpendicular to the fluid flow direction, heat cannot be exchanged as much as the time when rings are par parallel to, to the fluid direction like P3. So P2 and P3 sections do not have the same contributions to the cooling effects due to their different attachment. Lastly, the number of the effective rings also varies with respect to the load on the wall, where in the upper section, which has the lowest in intensity of solar radiation, the heat cannot penetrate more than one la ring layer. However, this number increases to five layers at the bottom section of the tube. This can help in optimization of such mat matrix in the next studies. Thermal performance in terms of 3D tube wall temperature is presented here considering the full pipe in the second fraction for both smooth and enhanced pipes. As shown on left, the temperature difference between the two tubes at the bottom part is significant. Moreover, the Russian green Proust insert not only can affect the length that is covered by its dimension, but also its upstream and downstream are influenced and have been benefited from its cooling effects compared to the smooth pipe. The Sankey diagrams developed for two pipe models concerning the thermal losses show that Russian green insert could increase the useful heat up to 21% and reduces the thermal losses from 21.8% to only 4.2% of the total solar energy received. And finally, here are the main points found in this research. 
The rushing ring Prus insert uses the higher heat transfer area as well as breaking fluid thermal boundaries to enhance useful heat while producing some pressure drops. The application of the radiation model needs attention and consideration of the fact that some rays will be sacrificed through the ray tracing at the inlet and outlet edges, so to mitigate this issue, models must be encased to block extra ray emittance. More experimental studies are needed to optimize the structure of such Bruce media for the integration with solar collectors. Thank you so much for your attention.